Hey there Seekers, welcome back to Wild Letters Tarot and to your weekly intuitive tarot reading. Just before we jump in, I want to say that last week was really epic for me. I reached a huge milestone because I launched the initiation and that is my four week immersive learn tarot journey and you can see a little bit of a demo of it right here. So it's been amazing to see some of you guys jump in and learn tarot with me. I'm so grateful for that. Don't forget that there is a special price through to the end of August if you want to take advantage of that. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram and on TikTok guys. Those links are also down there including the link to my website should you want to arrange a personal reading or healing for yourself. I am available for those and would love to read for you. So I am wishing you so much love and magic for the week ahead. Let's get over to your reading now. Leo, this is your weekly intuitive reading for August 23rd through to the 29th. Let's see what might be on the cards for you, Leo. And I am getting started with the Work Your Light Oracle. I'm going to be using the, uh, the Moonchild Tarot. <laughs> oh god, had a blank there. For your lead tarot energy and I uh, use the Rider Waite and the Star Child Tarot from Danielle Knoll for the tarot positions. So Leo, that first card out which I saw flip is the Star Sea card and it says what lights you up. This is about moving to alignment, moving to purpose and understanding that some of you may be star seeds or light workers that are watching this video and, and that may mean that you have a mission in this life to help with the big energy shift that's going on in the world at the moment. So um, you don't necessarily have to be a healer or a tarot reader, but it's about maintaining that frequency and vibration. So it's important that you do what lights you up, right? So you can stay in an ascended frequency and keep evolving. And we have inner temple, tune into the portal of your heart. This is coming out a lot at the moment, Leo, and is potentially one of the most important messages uh, for us in this time. Tuning into the portal of the heart means coming back to self. And when we come back to self and we're grounded in the body and we, um, you know, are not kind of getting lost in the, in the mind chatter and the ego and the external influences information that are coming at us, we can feel our truth. We can hear our intuition and we can tune into that higher self. So it's really important at the moment because we really need to get very good at discerning, um, the truth and information that we might be presented uh, around us and that our truth will be different from somebody else's truth but it's important that we are acting in alignment with what we feel to be to be right for us okay let's get your lead tarot energy leo that one okay We've got the Six of Swords, another card that's come out about three times for uh, lead energies this week. The Six of Swords means that you're in transition, Leo. You know, maybe you're transitioning between jobs. Maybe you're transitioning between relationships or relationship status. Maybe you're transitioning between place or location. Um, with the Six of Swords, you know, I noticed the, the Ace of Swords that she holds here and it's like, that's a, you know, a visual metaphor for clarity. You've finally gotten this insight or mental clarity about a move that you need to make and now you're putting it in action. It is with a bit of a heavy heart though with the Six of Swords because generally we're leaving something behind, something that maybe we believed in or trusted in, but you know, we uh, almost like without a choice that we need to to move forward. Um, but the, the silver lining of the Six of Swords is that you're moving forward towards a victory. You are leaving behind times of, you know, like rockier emotions or turbulent times and moving towards a time of peace or, or harmony or smoother sailing. So let's go to the tarot leo and see if we can get any more info on this high priestess yeah it's going to be so important for you to trust the intuition um that's coming through for you might be more on point than usual the ace of pentacles beautiful energy And the outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. Wow, okay, Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Love to see the Ace, which is number one in the Pentacles, being followed up with the Nine, because that means growth, guys. It means that whatever this is that's coming in for you has the potential to grow and expand and deliver 
King of Swords, Aquarian Energy. Temperance again. Sagittarian Energy there. Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay, I love it. Uh, let's get one more. Huh, high Priestess again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they are giving us very clear signals. <clears throat> Six of Wands, Card of Victory. Okay, so it's just telling us again and again that, you know, you're going to be victorious here very strongly and powerfully. Okay, Leo. So depending on when you are watching this reading, my question to you is, what happened around the 22nd of August for you? That is the date of the Aquarius new moon. And we have the King of Swords here, which is Aquarian energy. And I'm asking this because you have double high priestess here. And this is the card of intuition of um, things being revealed to you, truths revealed, information coming through, downloads, insights, and that kind of thing. So I'm wondering, like you might be watching this, I'm releasing these... Um, these uh around about the the 19th of august here you are potentially going to in a couple of days time we might be watching this afterwards you know get some kind of big intuition about what you are needing to move away from here or move towards about this transition so do pay attention to that um, leo full moon that is happening the leo full moon the aquarius full moon that is happening around the 22nd of august okay you're going to get like a big moment of clarity here with the King of Swords and it's going to uh, let you know what strategic move you need to, to make, right? How you can move towards your truth and it's going to help transform you or transform your life in some way. Some of you might be, um, you know, learning about a secret or have secret information revealed to you from somebody else as well. The High Priestess can indicate that. So it's about some kind of big insight or re revelation and it's the information that you need it's what you need to to move forward to move on is what i'm really feeling here guys it could also be that you're actually getting the tip off about whatever this ace of pentacles is this is a new beginning and it is the new beginning of solidity stability for some of you this is the new job, the new home, the new contract, the new relationship that's becoming a committed situation, right? The Ace of Pentacles always comes in for the person who has overcome the challenges, walked the path, completed a karmic cycle or contract, and then opened the energy to the new. So what I'm kind of seeing here is that after the Six of Swords, after this transition, you know, and you've kind of made that decision, I'm moving forward, I'm moving on, bang here comes the the new opportunities and what i'm seeing here with this double temperance energy guys is that this is the major arcana number 14 that comes after death the, thir the 13th card which indicates not physical death but the death of um, old situations old cycles in your life things that you've had to leave behind or release so what it's saying is that after this um transition or leaving something behind to pursue the new you are going to find new balance and stability pretty quickly and you're actually going to move into the healing phase pretty quickly as well um i think that with the five of cups right over here on the past side of the spread i think that you did your your mourning for the situation while you were in it because you knew that it was only a matter of time before you needed to move on so many people were like that in their relationships they know that you know that it's it's over or the love is gone they've stayed you know in it longer than what is really necessary and you grieve for the loss then so when it comes down to moving on and making the transition and the follow-through yeah there will be turbulent emotions but the grief part of it is almost done and that's what i'm kind of feeling and then you straight away see the two cups here that represent the two cups in temperance you're already moving straight into healing recalibration uh, as you're moving through that's what I'm seeing and because you're kind of not sitting in the grief of that anymore you're actually getting the divine guidance of how to move forward here and I really feel that that your energy is so open to new to the new that you're attracting opportunities already so if you are making a physical move or relocation this could be you yeah finding the 
the listing for the perfect house and applying for it um, yeah it can be the new the new contact or lead for a work or job situation if you have left one um, could even be the you know if you are transitioning between relationships the new one kind of firming up so that's what I see there guys it's a really um, blessed energy and in the outcome another ace ace of cups six of wands and the nine of pentacles so whatever that ace of pentacles stands for for you leo it is going to bring you success and achievement no it won't all be this week necessarily um this can be a longer term energy because the nine of pentacles can say like you know good things can take time if you if you if you have patience and you keep nurturing this and growing it and putting your energy into it, it can bring you the sense of quality and luxury um, in your life. It can really have you sitting pretty here. And you are just continuing to be magnetic. You know, you're looking good, you're feeling good. And because of that, you keep on attracting the new, the new growth, the new opportunities. And I also feel like you are transforming on a personal level as well. So the Ace of Cups really is this kind of level up in fulfillment. Because you've listened to the portal of the heart, you've made transitions where you kind of know that you are being um, called somewhere else towards what lights you up. And then, you know, because of that, you're having this big increase in your, in your emotional fulfillment and your connection with others and all of those kinds of things. So the Six of Wands... Temperance, let's bring this in again. The Six of Wands says that, yeah, you are going to be victorious. Whatever you've had to kind of go through with the ending or the release, you're moving out of that and that sun energy is rising for you. And the sun is the energy of uh, positivity, of happiness, of rebirth. And, and healing is a really key theme here as well. There's also this really big theme of like being seen in all of your glory, you know, you may have been keeping quiet for some time because you've been going through a difficult time. There's this real like out and proud, I'm back in the mix, you know, feeling better than ever and, um, you know, really ready to kind of get out there and live life. But the Six of Wands, just know that it is a card of victory, guys. We talked about that with the Six of Swords as well. It's through following those clear intuitions and insights that you are led towards the victory in your life and in this situation. So Leo, I'm going to leave it there and I wish you all the best if this is your reading, but do keep in mind it is a general reading for the collective, so may or may not be for you. Feel free to drop me a comment, guys. I do read them all and try to interact with you all over there as well. Helps me get to know you guys, connect with your energy and see what the collective themes are. Leo, I'm going to be back here, same time, same place for another one, so I will see you then. Bye for now.